Here's some uh, quick sketches I drew of motorcycles and stuff that I wanted to build in homebrew. The top two show my original design pro design that I was going to do with just two wheels, one front, one back, and a single engine. And then the bottom two are kind of what it evolved into partway through with two engines and uh, a total of four wheels. So you can see that my design kind of evolved as I uh, experimented further with it. So this is my original, er, this is my final design on the dirt track, showing you what it can uh, get up to before it starts to become stable. Which, as it turns out, I believe gets up to once it gets up to 150, 180 range, it really can become unstable depending on your terrain that you're on. Um, other than that, it actually handles quite well because of how wide it ended up turning out to be. It can um, go quite fast and handle some turns. You can see right here it likes to wobble over a little bit on these uh, high speed high speed sharp turns. But it doesn't roll over all the way simply because of how wide I made it using um, those V6s placed low down to uh, hopefully keep it from rolling over which as you can see doesn't help all the time. But it does some occasionally like to land right side up which is good. I'm gonna go ahead and jump off this thing and uh, show you my uh, earlier design which I learned quite a bit, helped me learn quite a bit about this game and how it doesn't necessarily like motorcycles so much. So you can see already it's skinnier it's got only one V6 and uh, it's already wanting to roll over which is why I ended up putting those little things on the side. Um, it doesn't really have the power to be able to climb up most of these things or hold hold that much speed. It does have four wheels. Um, I don't have any footage of my original experimentation with just a single front wheel, single re rear wheel because I wasn't really thinking of recording and such stuff like that then. But you can see it starts to become unstable. I like 70 or 80 which is actually around its top speed so as you can see even from compared to my earlier one it's quite a bit slower it starts to become quite unstable at around 100 not even 100 80 or 90 show you it. Not in the water. Maybe. There you can see it a little bit better. So I started off just basic frame along the bottom like chassis kind of like thing. Stuck the engine on there. Stuck some fuel on there. I was doing a little bit, experimenting a little bit with adding some kind of a body and then that later evolved into a little bit wider design a little bit wider design extra engine gives me more power more fuel so I can go a lot farther even though fuel hasn't been an issue and the chassis is designed a little bit different as opposed to the front and back being one separate pipe. They're, uh, they're split off into two pipes, one for left, one for right. And then some custom made pipes for the side, for the body, which was a pain to get right. You can see I made it shorter, more compact, and made it a little bit, feel a little bit more beefier. Which I think makes it looks look quite nice and handle a lot better. And as you can see, if I can stop it, I don't need the little things on the outside to keep it from rolling over all the time. Just simply because of how low and wide it is with these engines.
Well, anyway, that was my. This is my design that I'm submitting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my current project.